epileptology has always been a, a subject of dealing with a disease with a poor prognosis, with a chronic condition, and almost no chance of healing patients. And then with the advance of autoimmune encephalitis, there was quite a change. These special patients could be cured. That was quite a success and quite an excitement in, in our community when there were patients with recurrent, seemingly unprovoked seizures. You gave them corticosteroids for a few weeks and they were seizure free and they never relapsed. And this was so extraordinary that patients started talking about autoimmune epilepsy as, as one special form of it. However, these were still cases of autoimmune encephalitis with seizures as the dominant symptom. And we were reminded of this by Josep Dalmau two years ago and have since updated our concepts. We are now distinguishing between these autoimmune encephalitis with acute symptomatic seizures related to, let's say, LGA1 antibodies or NMDA receptor antibodies on the one hand, brilliant prognosis, treatable, rapidly responding to steroids. And on the other hand, these really difficult chronic, typically epilepsy conditions in which steroids do not work, for example, temporal lobe epilepsy with GAT antibodies or the well-known Rasmussen encephalitis. These we call autoimmune-associated epilepsies now.